What are the best zombie games on PC? You can hardly take a step on Steam without zombie games clutching at your ankle, so it's a valid question. Don't dismiss the entire genre just because there's a load of brainless clones though. Below, we have some of the best zombie games to shuffle their way onto PC. Zombie games range from survival simulation to Lovecraftian co-op period pieces, and, if you like, you can even take a shambling detour through tower defense and post-apocalypse parkour. This list of zombie games has everything an undead enthusiast could ask for. We have the harrowing moral quandaries posed by The Walking Dead, the high-octane FPS action of Black Ops 3, and the traumatizing horror of Resident Evil. Whatever your decayed taste, these are the best zombie games on PC. Resident Evil No list of zombie games would be complete without Resident Evil. You might have been scared out of your wits by Resident Evil 7 in VR or found yourself repeatedly returning to the action-packed classic that is Resi 4, but you will still find plenty of frights in the game where it all started. Without the unnecessary complications tacked onto future sequels, Resident Evil is one of the best horror games around. Trapped in the famously labyrinthine Spencer Mansion, as Chris Redfield or Jill Valentine, ravenous zombies and dangerous mutations lie behind every corner in Resident Evil often obscured or blocked by inventive environmental puzzles. Fixed camera angles intensify the sensation of claustrophobia, and your limited inventory keeps you feeling vulnerable. If that is not scary enough, you can always grab the remastered version released in 2015 on Steam. This is a remake of a remake, however, which adds new environments, scenarios, and surprises to ensure Resident Evil is every bit as scary as you remember it. Resident Evil 2 Remake while the first Resident Evil game delivers the bulk of its terror through its haunted house setting, the stunning remake of Resident Evil 2 makes the zombies the star of the show. These are the most horrifying undead shufflers the series has produced so far, with each one's warped, bloody face telling a story of how they got infected. Like in all the best zombie games, Resident Evil 2's lurching horrors move unpredictably, snatching and swiping at you while you miss shot after shot in panic. Shooting them in the head will only stun them for a second or two, allowing you to slip past, but you'll need to shoot them a few more times until their cranium explodes to guarantee they won't get back up. Alternatively, you can go for the limbs. A couple of pistol shots is enough to snap off an ankle, making them a lot less mobile and allowing you to carefully skirt around them. Scuff a shot and it will still tear a chunk of flesh off your target, adding some gory gravitas to every spent cartridge. Oh. And if you're looking for some help with ammo, check out our guide to Resident Evil 2 locker codes for some freebies. Fighting standard zombies quickly gets old in some of the Resident Evil games, but they remain a constant menace throughout the campaign of the Resident Evil 2 remake, and taking them down always feels squelchy and satisfying in equal measure. As Chris wrote in our Resident Evil 2 remake review, this is a bloodbath to relish, at least until the Resident Evil Village release date, when the incredibly tall Lady Dimitrescu opens her mansion gates to visitors. For fans of the indie game Untitled Goose Game, an upcoming mod by notorious modder Zombie Alley swaps Resident Evil 2's fearsome Mr. X for the equally malevolent Goose protagonist. Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War Honestly, you could elect any of Treyarch's Call of Duty games to this list because their zombie horde modes are the best around. Black Ops 4 had a very good zombies mode, however, the reason we've singled out Black Ops Cold War is because it has a nice entry point for those who've not played zombies mode. It also has a fresh story, great tutorials, easter eggs galore, and the original map is much easier for the classic survival modes. There's still tons to sink your teeth into, and the reception from those who have played it has been more positive than prior installments. Zombie Night Terror in some zombie fiction, the Horde are not mindless, not precisely, but guided in their pursuit for brains by one bigger brain. Here, you are the hive mind, directing the pandemic from behind your keyboard. Developers Noclip argue, the only way to survive the zombie apocalypse is to be the apocalypse. For those who found the cause of Lemmings too noble, Zombie Night Terror is a zombie game's twist on that puzzler's format. You are offered a sidelong view of the black and white action and given ways to influence it, guiding your unthinking chargers over the booby traps they would otherwise fall blindly into. Pesky humans will pick away at your numbers with buzz saws, shotguns, and repurposed snow trucks, but you can bolster the ranks with a few would-be survivors. What's more, the undead can be altered into mutated beings that riff on left for dead, blowing themselves to bits and taking the living with them or spitting globules of green acid which bubble away in stark contrast to the grey backdrops. 
The colorless world of this zombie game is just waiting to be covered in bright red blood. Project Zomboid This is how you died, Project Zomboid tells you as you walk gingerly into the overrun American countryside for the first time. This is not going to end well, but you can drag out the inevitable for some time, eking out an isometric existence through the shrewd scavenging, food sourcing, and first aid skills you will have honed well from the best survival games. The entire map is open, and guidance is minimal. Only good preparation and a tab open to the Zomboid wiki can save you. Once you have established a domestic base, the game becomes a matter of tense smash and grabs, weighing up potential loot against the chance of zombie encounters. Long-term survival means rebuilding rural America, constructing and maintaining farms, and adopting a defensive playstyle. Most zombie games are about hitting the dead with something weighty before moving on to heavier artillery. Zomboid is about avoidance, careful management, and slow burn strategy. Speaking of a slow burn, Zomboid has been in open development for nearly half a decade, so see what we make of it in our Project Zomboid Early Access review. But do not be put off by the Early Access tag, this is one of the wealthiest zombie games in existence. Left 4 Dead 2 It has been 8 years, but Left 4 Dead 2 always looked economical in the way Valve shooters are. That means that, unlike many zombie games, it has aged well, despite the lack of any fancy, physically-based rendering or global illumination. It is a zombies game that certainly has not been bettered, even when compared to differently themed siblings Vermintide and the two Payday games. Arguably, Left 4 Dead lost some of the exquisite balance of its small armory by expanding it for the sequel, filling the world with impromptu melee weapons and special ammo types. But nevertheless, Left 4 Dead 2 and the original are still the best co-op games around. While some post-apocalyptic scenarios default to a standard version of zombiedom, we have long been desensitized to. Left 4 Dead 2 presents a world in which normality is all too recent. Though cities have emptied out after waves of evacuations, humanity feels close enough to touch thanks to the messages scrawled on the walls of safe houses. There is a unique warmth here, too. The cultural influence of New Orleans and its environs seeps from the swamps to the streets and into the soundtrack. Days Despite an arguable abuse of the concept of early access stretching backer patients to the breaking point, there is more than enough to stand alone days to remind you why the mod garnered all that goodwill. You will still endure that nervy survival phase, flitting from greenhouse to gas station to gather gear and avoid conflict. Days is one of those zombie games where the ravenous undead is not what haunts your every step. You will still have those Cormac McCarthy moments on the road, scanning a stranger for clues as to their intentions. Once you are subsisting on soda and scraps, however, Days opens up. That greenhouse becomes a proper farming plot. It is enough to keep you and passing traders alive. At this stage, banditry is no longer Days' default. There is potential for trading centers, large-scale farms, and stable villages. Unfortunately, we are a few updates away from the post-societal civilized dream, and over time, the bugs and performance issues can chew away at your enthusiasm. But Days is not just a survival sim anymore, it's also a living sim. Dead Island It is not an especially pretty or polished game, but Dead Island remains one of the best zombie games on PC. With its first-person shuffler bashing and four-player co-op, it is tempting to compare Techland's first zombie game outing to Left 4 Dead 2, but it is what Dead Island borrows from Fallout 3 that makes it compelling. The island in question is a small one, off the coast of Papua New Guinea, and its undead residents are hungry to scupper your hard-earned holiday. Any narrative interest begins and ends here, but after you have waited through a dull first hour, this tiny Oceanian island opens up to reveal a world of impressive scale. Still, a big world is meaningless if the zombies are not fun to mutilate. Thankfully, combat and RPG light progression are engaging enough to keep you going. You will start with melee-based weapons, but later, you will happen upon throwable knives and machetes, allowing for satisfying one-hit kills. Despite Dead Island and quasi-sequel Riptide getting the remaster treatment in Dead Island Definitive Edition, some bugs are still buried away, left over from the original release. And don't hold your breath waiting for the sequel either. Dead Island 2's development has been troubled. Thanks for watching, and if you had fun, like, share, and subscribe. And leave a comment below which one game you have played from the list.